This is a lecture on probability distribution by Farouk Alemi. This lecture was narrated by Ungat Buttar. This is the first part of the second lecture on a series of lectures intended to prepare you to do probabilistic risk analysis. This lecture introduces you to probability mass function in the calculation of expected values. This is the first part of a multi-part lecture on discrete probability distributions. A function assigns numbers to events. A probability density function gives a probability of a group or events or a single event. In contrast, a cumulative probability function gives the probability of all events less than or equal to a specific level. Both functions require us to sort events from a low value to a high value. In this example, the number of medication errors are sorted and listed to the left. The first column shows a probability density function. At each value, it provides a probability of the event listed. For example, 90% of patients have no medication errors. 6% of patients have one medication error. And 4% have two medication errors. The cumulative distribution function is also given in the right column. It starts at 90% and increases or stays the same thereafter. The cumulative distribution function gives probability of occurrence of all events with values less than or equal to the event. For example, 96% is a probability of having patients with one or zero medication errors. The steps of cumulative distribution function are equal to the probability of the event at the step. Probability density function can be used to calculate expected value for an uncertain event. The expected value is calculated by the probability of the event by its value. And summing across all possible values. In this example, the number of medication errors are sorted and listed to the left. The first column shows a probability density function. At each value, it provides a probability of the listed event. For example, 90% of patients have no medication errors, 6% of patients have one medication error, and 4% have two medication errors. To calculate the expected value, first we multiply the value of each event by its probability. In the first row, zero medication errors is multiplied by 90% chance to obtain zero. In the second row, 6% is multiplied by 1 to obtain 0 0.06, and 4% is multiplied by 2 to obtain 0 0.08. The expected medication error is the sum of the products of the event value and its probability. In this example, it is 0 0.12. Chart the density and distribution functions of the following data for patients with specific number of medication errors and calculate expected number of medication errors. This chart shows a probability density in the cumulative distribution function for the data on medication errors. A cumulative density function shows the probability of events less than or equal to a particular value. It never decreases. The size of the step in the cumulative distribution is the same as the probability of the event. For example, the rise from 0 to 1 medication error is equal to the probability of 1 medication error. The shape of distribution function tells a great deal about the function. For discrete variables, the type of data we focus on in this course, there are some very unique distribution functions. 
each with a signature shape. The take home lesson for this part of the lecture is that density function is to set expectations about future occurrences of events. The lecture on distributions will continue next with a discussion of various distribution functions.